you know, as the topic goes, the great expectation, what are we expecting from Ompasi in your own self? You know, from the day you joined Ompasi, what was your expectation? You know, all of us have our different expectation. You know, some, maybe they want to go to space, moon and star, and we always talk about Ompasi is a place for everyone. You know, whatever your dreams are, Ompasi got it all. Ms. Agbara told us that we should always increase our dream. No matter how big you think you can dream, Ms. Agbara will tell you maybe you need to dream bigger because on passive is massive. So what is our expectation? A lot of people say, oh, there is nothing to expect. You know, people will be saying different things based on what they are saying. You know, but when I look at it, I look at on passive from my own standpoint. I know it is much bigger than what we think. Because every day I zoom in, I say, oh my God, I didn't know this. When I zoom in, I say, oh my God, I've discovered something else. So it is bigger. And imagine in my own little way, I'm looking at on passive as a very big entity. Think about Mr. Ash Mopara, who knows everything from the day he created on passive. Just think about what he has in mind. You know, we are in a universe. That's how I say it. I say we are in a universe and we are zooming in, looking at all the planets. Said, oh, this planet, uh, this is this, this is that, this is that. And the more you try to look, it becomes much bigger you know, and it become more exciting. Then now moving forward, what are we expecting from passive moving forward? Now we are in the old years. You know, some people say, ah, you know, there are people who believe that the moment they shut us down, it will never happen. Founders, some of them believe that that is the end of it. And some, most of the time, I always sit back and ask myself, Mr. Ash Mofara is there. He is not going anywhere. Every day he comes and speaks to us. In difficult times, he will always come and speak to us. If Mr. Ash Mopara is there, it means on passive is there. Some other CEO will disappear. How many business have we joined and we even meet with the CEO? Founder sitting with your CEO. We don't even know. Sometimes you know only the person who brought you in. You know only the person. You don't even know the person who brought the person that brought you in. And when the business vanished, there is nobody. The person, oh, you know, somebody introduced me and this is how it works. Finish. We, you never know about any product. Nothing. Sometimes we join because we want to make commission. But when you look at on passive, it's above commission. Sometimes somebody say, why are you saying this? Why are you saying it's above commission? Because that's what we came in. First, we came in to make commission. That is true. Founder, ask yourself. We are 30%. Those who will come especially in on passive though we are 30 percent those who come in to make commission are 30 percent 70 percent are those who are not coming for commission they are coming to use the solution they will not even see all of these things they want to pay use the product and disappear that's it they don't care about commission they just give provide me give me the best let me use it to enhance my own business can you give me so think about those people. When you always think like on pass is about commission, think about those who are not coming for commission. They are coming to use that product and services to enhance their own business, to even better others. Companies will be coming with almost 200,000 employees. Companies will be coming with 70,000, 200 employees. They'll be coming for what? They'll be coming to use our solution to improve, to enhance their own business you know, and when they come, they see better solution and better product. What will happen? They'll give pay rise because they are cutting down cost. So on passive is not only to generate commission for found for, for affiliates and founders, but it's here to enhance other businesses. That's why they call it a global IT company. Because they build software solutions for businesses, not only for normal users. Because at the end of the day, all of us here we cannot even use on passive for what would I do with all staff? That there are hundreds of people out there waiting for all staff, companies waiting. What will I do? Even with video conferencing, how many of us will use video conference? I cannot use video conference to call uh, Gina Lever here, or and if I want to call Andy Beck, I'll use I'll use WhatsApp or normal call or comfort. But video conferencing is for businesses. That's the truth. Those who have conference, churches, all of those things, they'll be using all of this. So if you go back, you take two steps back. 
you look at all the products that on passive is building, it's more of business, business to business, call it B2B. And imagine how many business are out there, hundred upon hundred of thousands coming in. When they are doing this, what will happen? Those who come in because they want to make commission, they'll be getting it. But in the first place, that was our mindset. But when you zoom back, you ask yourself, how will unpassive change like Comfort said? We talk about humanity. You take humanity out of unpassive, Mr. Ashton Father will stop building unpassive. Because why he built this company it was because he wanted to enhance our life so we too can enhance others. It's not only enhance us and then we disappear. If you cannot change somebody's life, it means you are not an unpassivian. That's why we are here. It's about giving water to those who are thirsty, providing food for those who are hungry, you know, building schools for those who want to be educated through academy. You know, we call the product, you know, giving, you know, giving people hope back. Unpassive is for hope, for hope. You know, it's, it's just a tool for the voiceless, those who cannot even speak, to revive them back again. That's why we are here. That is the expectation I'm looking for on passive, where life will be changed. We'll be telling our stories based on on passive, what we have achieved, you know, and how we have changed lives. I want to stand one day and see Gina Oliver said, I've been schools somewhere. I want to see my said, I've done this somewhere through on passive. I want to see comfort moving mountains and the bed. But when you take it and you keep it, you know what? If you cannot bless others, I always say you will bless the tax man. The tax man is ready to take it from you. If you cannot bless human being, you will bless the government. They are ready to take it because what will you do with it? Give me more tax. They will determine how much you will pay. So we are here to bless. That's why Mr. Ash Kofara brought us through this education. I call it a place where all of us have acquired a PhD. Whether you came in with zero education on passive and make you a PhD holder. You know, PhD holder through learning of the system and how to bless humanity. Because at the end of the day, they will count you, not for what you own, but for what you have given to society. So it's the comfort, I will leave it there. That's my expectation anyway. All of us will have our expectation. 